Hey everybody, I am Justin with Plonk Advocate and today we are talking about our wine of the week. Now, how exactly are we choosing our wine of the week? Well, varies from week to week. Could be value, could be a really cool story, could be something brand new, could be something overall that we're in love with. I like rosé. Domaine du Bachellerie, they make all sorts of wines. This is uh, the only one I know thus far and I'm really intrigued and want to find out more about them. This is 100% Pinot Noir Rosé from southern France, from the Languedoc-Roussillon region, uh, probably 45 minutes to an hour's drive north of the Spanish border. 100% Pinot Noir fermented fully dry. As you can see, it's sort of a salmon colored. Let me crack it open here. Now, a lot of rosé out there clearly is sweet. We've seen plenty of it out there. White Zin, White Merlot, now Moscato is a pretty popular one. Understood. Nothing wrong with a little sweetness every now and then. Um, I find though for food, dry rosé always the best. Domaine du Bachellerie. Celery. So let's see what we got going on in the glass here for this uh, Pinot Noir from Domaine du Bachellerie. I mean this floral, floral strawberries, cranberry, raspberry. But to me, it's all about fresh strawberries. It's really bright. It's extremely bright. It's pretty. The interesting thing about this wine, so many rosés are stainless steel fermented. This actually sees a little bit of oak, almost half of the juice. It actually spends a little bit of time in larger barrels. Just really pretty fruit. When I think of dry rosés, I want fresh fruit, I want acidity, and I want relative balance. And the fruit and the acidity are going to balance each other, hopefully. That's what makes a good one. To me, this is it. All right, so here we go. Domain Bachelery with stuff off the grill. I make no guarantees about my grilling. I don't know if it can match this. We're gonna find out. Salmon looks like it's done. It's a step in the right direction for me. Wow, I, I don't totally suck today. This is killer. This is this is definitely a wine of the week for me. 